Wall Street Money Hour with your host, Peter Bruno. Call 1-877-927-6648 to talk with Peter live. Now, Peter Bruno. Hey, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And I'd like to join the chorus of well wishes, welcoming uh, Larry Pesamento back to the, the airwaves today. Uh, it's been a long time, and we missed him terribly. Uh, on our market report, uh, just a few minutes ago, we mentioned the most active stocks uh, on the, uh, uh, for, the, for the day in the market. And we also mentioned the negative stocks, uh, the low, low stocks on the market today. Uh, and based on that, I mentioned that we were going to, in our program, take a look at the uh, Bruno Oscillator dealing with the, uh, the most active stocks today. And uh, basically, the first stock we were looking at was was Amgen, and I hope you can all see my my uh, Bruno oscillator. And you can see that uh, Amgen uh, moved up from a support level uh, into resistance level, came down a little bit, and then it looks like there's a breakout uh, well above the the resistance level, which happens maybe. Uh, 10, 12 percent of the time where you have a, a breakout above that level. Uh, what we would need to see is it remain there before pulling back uh, and be going below the uh, resistance level on the uh, Bruno Oscillator. Uh, the next stock we talked about was Lilly, and I put that stock up here as well. And here's Lilly, and Lilly is... Uh, Based on the Bruno oscillator, it went uh, at resistance uh, here, basis uh, 9.12, and then suddenly it fell down from a resistance down to support. And this level here, which was about 5.28, and uh, on 10 to, on 10.2, and now it moved from there up to resistance again. Uh, up at this level here, uh, 20 points, up 0.92 on the day. Okay, so that's uh, the Lily STX. Uh, obviously, it's too late to buy these stocks. <laughs> uh, we, that's why we try to buy oversold uh, stocks based on our isolator and then uh, sell them when they become uh, at resistance and oversold. So the next stock was STX, Seagate Technology. And Seagate Tech, Technology is basically the same thing. It was at, uh, it was at resistance a while ago uh, up here, and it didn't hold that resistance too, too long, and then suddenly came all the way down to support, and that support has started moving up, and now we're back up to uh, the resistance levels once again. All right, the next stock on that, the most active stock list was CLTL. And that was, uh, let me see, maybe that stock is uh, uh, CLTL. Let me see. Uh, I don't know how to get that off there. Let me see, uh, CLTL. Uh, I think I know how this way. Okay, CLTL is uh, uh, Calumet, uh looks like, and it was uh, stock hit resistance here. In the uh, uh, level here, uh, back on back on nine one, and then after resistance, it came down to support, and then a lower support here at uh, ten five, and now it's trying to make its way uh, back up to resistance. And I said that I calculated it's not exactly, but about take seventeen eighteen days to go from support to resistance uh, on these uh, charts, this oscillator that I created. And therefore, uh, this may still have a little bit more to, to run. It's up uh, $1.30 today to $45.41. Uh, okay, the next stock is uh, that we're looking at as the most active stock is uh, Adobe. And Adobe was on our list anyway of being an over 
sold stock, and here Adobe has moved up nice over the last few days since we started talking about it. Uh, up 16 points today to 549.12, and it's heading towards the 550 area uh, for that. We also mentioned on our program that Apple, uh, although everyone loves uh, loves Apple, uh, we said that Apple was giving us a resistance level about 180, and uh, that seemed to be resistance because uh, the 180 held, and now it's 178.55, uh, only up uh, 16 cents. Okay, in the other stocks that we uh, uh, we have, we have a uh, uh, a couple of uh, dividend capture stocks, and we talked about dividend capture in our program yesterday, and it's, it's uh, I think, worthwhile to review it again uh, because most people don't understand dividend capture. And as I mentioned yesterday, that we're not the the only people that invented or created dividend capture. And basically, many good stocks pay dividends. Sometimes these dividends are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5%. And the problem with dividend capture strategy that does not use our, our cycles or Bruno Oscillator, and there are some funds that are called dividend capture funds, is when they buy a stock in anticipation of a dividend that is going to pay in the next couple of weeks, they have no idea whether the the trend for that stock is up or down. So they can be buying a stock for dividend capture that, let's say, pays a dollar, and suddenly the stock may move down two or three dollars a share. So what good is it making a dollar a dividend if you're going to lose two or three points of, of principal? We also mentioned the fact that the ex-dividend date is the key date for dividend capture, because on the ex-dividend date is when the stock is reduced by the price of the dividend. So therefore, in order to capture a dividend, you have to buy the stock prior to the dividend date, and then uh, and on the, on the ex-dividend date, the stock drops by uh, that amount. We were trying to buy Lowe's at a lower price. We didn't get it, but Lowe's was paying $1.12. Uh, in October 27th, so we were buying it for a dollar twelve. That's a dollar uh, ten or twelve a share. A hundred shares of stock would be one hundred and ten dollars. A thousand shares of stock would be eleven hundred dollars in your account if you're able to buy the stock uh, at oversold condition, and then hold the stock as the stock moved up, and if it moved up into the the level of uh, where you bought it and above the price that you paid for it. You sell the stock, and meanwhile, in a week, you get a dollar ten per share, uh, free. I call that free money. And the reason why it works so well is many of the account executives and money managers and people that are uh, have income, uh, conservative income clients that are looking for income to pay their bills. So they don't want to disturb their their nest egg account. Uh, they just don't want to take any chances. So therefore, uh, many of these account executives buy these dividend stocks in order to anticipate paying them a dividend. Uh, we'll be right back after this short break. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. 
it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And before the break, we were talking about the confusing area to many people, including professionals, is the concepts of ex-dividend, dividend payment dates and, uh, and uh, dividends that, uh, are, that are used <clears throat> after ex-dividend. Uh, ex-dividend means if you buy the stock, you have to buy the stock prior to the ex-dividend date. Because on the ex-dividend date, it means exactly what it says. It's this is, You're buying the stock without the dividend. And you're buying the stock minus the dividend. That is, is minus the stock on the opening of the ex-dividend date. So you have to own the stock prior to the ex-dividend date. And you also have to own the stock when our Bruno oscillators are telling you that we're in an oversold condition. We expect the stock to move up. Uh, now, many people who prepare uh, buying dividend capture stocks for their clients uh, usually buy them a couple of weeks ahead of time prior to the ex-dividend date. And that means that when buying comes in uh, prior to the ex-dividend date, stocks tend to move up into the ex-dividend date. So if we're looking to buy a, a, a dividend capture uh, we're looking to buy dividend capture stock a couple of weeks prior to the ex-dividend date. And as I mentioned yesterday, in the case of low, uh, the stock was up two and a half points. And if we were only trying to get a dollar ten per share and we're able to make two or three points on the, on the stock, why wait to the expiration date or the ex-dividend date when we can sell and nail down the profit right there? And forget about the dividend, because by the time we get to the ex-dividend date, the cycles may go from oversold, which they were, to overbought uh, resistance, which certainly you don't want to buy any stock that is at, at resistance. So we have uh, three stocks uh, that we want to, uh, three new stocks that we want to talk about uh, for dividend capture. And one of them is, is Clorox, which I have the chart up on the screen, and you can see that we came from resistance at 170 uh, all the way down uh, to uh, 121. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the company fundamentally because I don't follow fundamentals. But the fact is that uh, Clorox is going to be paying uh, $1.20 a share. And it's a $121 stock. So $1.20 a share pays on its ex-dividend date. It doesn't pay on its ex-dividend date, but the ex-dividend date is 1024, so you have to own the stock prior to 1024. If you own the stock prior to 1024, you get $1.20 uh, a share 
uh, once the payable date for Clorox uh, come, comes due. Okay, the next stock uh, that we had was, um, uh, let me see, Hasbro, and that's uh, HAS. And Hasbro, again, is a situation where you can see by looking at the Bruno Oscillator, we had resistance at 7250. Now it seems to be holding support at 5815, and Hasbro is paying uh, 70 cents. Now, Hasbro is only a $58 stock. So, 70 cents uh, of a $50 stock is paying more than maybe one and a quarter percent. And the ex dividend date for Hasbro is on 1031. So, you still have time to uh, uh, buy the stock. And of course, in the Wall Street Money, letter where we recommend the uh, times recommendations to buy dividend capture stocks and so on we would give you the specific buy points that we want you to buy the stock at uh, based on the ai and algorithm uh, prices that megan ramsey has figured out for that particular day and if we're able to get down to the level where we want you to buy the stock because we still have time uh, then we'll buy the stock and we'll hold that stock based on the fact that we expect the stock to move up uh, from there. Okay, the next stock that was uh, in that list uh, was, uh, see, uh, uh, STZ. And STZ, uh, I don't think I have that there. Uh, let me try to put that up there. Uh, uh, add symbols manually. Uh, STZ. STZ, uh, okay, okay, now we have it up there, which is Seagate Technology, and uh, uh, and that's another one is STZ, and it's a uh, constellation brand, so it's a food company, and you can see that's already moving up from its support level, and therefore we expect it to continue to move up, and STZ is going to be paying 89 cents uh, on the dividend payable date. And that stock is $238 a share. Uh, so it uh, doesn't give you that big of a percentage uh, increase. However, if the stock moves up, you, you may want to forget about the 89 cents because if it moves up uh, from, uh, say, 240 to 245, then who cares about the 89 cents that uh, that will pay you a dividend. Uh, another stock is Texas Instrument, uh, TXN. Uh, TXN is going to go ex dividend on October the 30th. It's paying $1.30 a share. The stock sells for about $156.57. Uh, uh, again, a little bit less than 1%. But you know, here's a company that, uh, uh, based on our oversold condition, could move up and also be able to capture uh, that dividend. Okay, the, uh, uh, in addition to uh, those ca dividend capture stocks that we're going to talk about, I just want to remind you that uh, the Wall Street Money Letter, I, I don't believe it's up yet on the TFNN, but uh, once it's up there, uh, subscribers who subscribe will be getting specific uh, AI buy prices to try to buy uh, any of these stocks that we are recommending, whether it be dividend capture, uh, ETFs, or uh, uh, low price stocks. Right now, I want to talk about some low price stock uh, things. I mentioned that uh, usually in the month of December, November, December, uh, as people are doing tax planning, uh, what they tend to do is they say, okay, well, I have a profit. Uh, a gain, so if I want to offset my gains by losses, and if you have ten thousand dollars worth of gains, and you have losses equivalent to ten thousand dollars, if you sell your losses uh, of ten thousand dollars against your gains of ten thousand dollars, basically you won't have to pay any capital gains uh, for uh, this year. So many astute investors and and tax knowledgeable people tend to sell their losing stocks going into the November and December uh, time period, okay? And they may love the stock, so therefore they're selling the stock, they're taking a loss, but come January or come 31 days after they sell the stock uh, to avoid a wash sale, they buy the stock back. 
And when they buy the stock back in January, the stocks tend to move up because you have more buying than selling, and therefore prices move up. So the, the strategy that I'm suggesting to you is called the January effect. The January effect, because in January, many of these low-priced stocks move up and uh, uh, because they're being bought back by the people that sold them in November and December. Uh, we talked about the market uh, retesting its previous lows. Uh, everyone seems to be looking for a low in October, which has been the case for uh, many, many years. Uh, I believe that we're far away from that and the low may take place in November. We'll be right back. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And during the break, we had a, we had a call from Duncan who was asking us about Bank of America BAC, and I put that chart up on our Bruno Oscillator. You can see, Duncan, that we got down to around the $25 level, which was support, and Duncan was moving up with the rally up to the current price of uh, $26.95. Uh, actually, now $27.02. And basically, uh, uh, Bank of America should continue to move up as this rally moves up. And I said, 
that I think we have another 50 points in the S&P 500 to move up. Uh, most likely that may happen next week, uh, not this week, uh, because we're still uh, bouncing from the support level of 4,200 that we had mentioned a couple of weeks ago. And once the rally is over, we may turn, turn over and come back down until we're able to uh, move move back up. So I will continue to hold on to uh, Bank of America, BAC. And as I mentioned in yesterday's program, uh, Duncan's interested in BAC, but the rest of our listening audience could care less maybe uh, about BAC. So I didn't want to use our time uh, based on a buy, sell, a hold concept that uh, many other radio hosts uh, are very c uh, nicely, you know, doing that. But the fact is that Ellen or Megan, my granddaughter, has agreed to do a buy, sell, or hold segment uh, for listeners of of our program sometime next week. And that means if anyone's interested in a particular stock that they own in their portfolio and one that they're considering buying and so on and want our expertise on on, on Megan's uh, research and an analysis, well, you can send us an email at peter at tfnn.com, peter at tf, tfnn.com, and given enough time, Megan has, can do the whole analysis and give you some buy points, some sell points, some uh, recommendations as to buy, sell, or hold. So we're going to be doing a segment next week uh, with Megan online with buy, sell, or hold. And for those who are interested in our cycle analysis based on our cycles, similar to what Duncan uh, was requesting, uh, then just send us an email at Peter Bruno, P or Peter at tfnn.com, and Megan will be happy to do the analysis, and we'll we'll cover that uh, in next week's uh, program. Uh, talking about the New York Stock Exchange low price stocks, which is a segment that we're going to review now. I mentioned that many, many years ago, uh, someone who borrowed $500 from his mother uh, made millions of dollars by buying stocks on the New York Stock Exchange under $5 a share. If they went down to four, he bought more. If it went down to three, he bought more. And therefore, uh, the statistics there is one third of those stocks and you don't have to have 100 stocks. You can have 10 stocks. Uh, but one third of those stocks uh, stayed the same. Did not move sideways. Uh, one third of the stocks went out of business. And one third of the stocks became winners once again. And so, therefore, the, the amount of stocks that became winners made up for the losses or the inactive, inactive stocks. Uh, that person used to do an analysis, a fundamental analysis of all the stocks that he was choosing on the New York Stock Exchange. And he picked the New York Stock Exchange because they have frigid re requirements to be state listed. So it's kind of a, uh, uh, a nice thing to be listed on a New York Stock Exchange, a prestigious thing, rather than to be delisted and trade uh, on the over-the-counter market or, or NASDAQ. So firms try their best to meet the requirements to stay listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And that means they they may try harder. Uh, so therefore, uh, what he realized after doing all the fundamental analysis of the stocks that he was choosing on the $5 a share, it really didn't matter. Because whether he did the fundamental analysis or if, if the fundamentals were good or the fundamentals weren't so hot, uh, they uh, they still uh, surpassed uh, his, expect, his expectations. Uh, we had a newsletter called the Wall Street Money Tree, uh, which we did that a few years ago on my radio program. We picked 10 stocks. One of the stocks was Xerox. And it was like $3 a share. And if you looked at the fundamentals for Xerox, uh, you would have never bought the stock. They owed millions and millions of dollars, and they were at a deficit. But that stock went from $3 a share to $11 a share during that January effect. So you really can't... Uh, think about the fundamentals, you're thinking about the strategy, and that strategy is called the January effect. And right now on our list here, we have a few of the stocks that are, 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 are considered for a January effect. We're not sure yet. Uh, one of them is BlackBerry. 
Now, I don't know what happened to BlackBerry. It used to be very, very popular, probably as, as popular as Apple before they came out with their iPhone. I know everyone in Washington had a BlackBerry. I don't know if they still do. And I don't know what the situation is with BlackBerry or the fundamentals, but based on our oversold oscillator, uh, BlackBerry may be coming out with some some news or some uh, advancement or something that may move the stock up. But BlackBerry is a stock that uh, is trading uh, right now at $3.56. And uh, let me see, uh, yeah, $3.56, down five cents. But it's a buy signal based on our uh, oversold condition as well as our AI and algorithmic trading. Uh, and we can see that the next support or next resistance, rather, short-term resistance for uh, BlackBerry, BB, as it is at around 450 a share. Uh, so if this stock can go from 356 to 450, that's a dollar, uh, and it doesn't take much money to buy thousand shares of stock. Uh, it's uh, you know 3,500 dollars uh, if you can make a thousand dollars out of that uh, that situation. Okay, the next uh, low price stock that we have is uh, BW Babcock and Wilcox, and that's. Uh, a three dollar stock, and that's uh, uh, let me see if I can get it up on our screen here. Uh, let me see uh, what's the simple uh, uh, BW. Okay, so I'm looking at the BW on my list here, and I see that uh, uh, right now it's at three dollars and 27 cents, down 11 cents. Now, when you're dealing with low price stocks, you got to be very, very careful because an 11 cent down on a stock is really 3.25%. Okay, so you can really lose a lot of percentages or make a lot of percentages based on the ups and downs of, of a particular stock. But uh, that's also a stock that's based on our uh, AI and uh, algorithm trading, and we see that it has the potential of going up to 417. So from 327 to 417, looking at our, our Bruno oscillator, it is at support. And if it holds that support, uh, then it could move up uh, higher, uh, what they say, 4, uh, uh, 4 15, And that's above the $4 level, uh, right where the last support was. We'll be right back after the short break. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. 
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the fund is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And before the break, we were talking about the January effect and looking at some low price stocks that we are considering uh, as purchases via the Wall Street Money Letter. And in the Wall Street Money Letter, which we cover all uh, these stocks, including ETFs and dividend capture, as well as uh, put option trading and short term trading. Uh, uh, we would give out specific uh, buy points when we're ready to buy these particular stocks. Right now, the Dow is down 11.74 points. Uh, the S&P is still up 5.54. The NASDAQ is up $55. And the ES is at 43.96. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, energy is uh, down uh, $2.18 to 83.79. Uh, Bitcoin is down $845. I don't trade Bitcoin, uh, don't understand it, uh, but our cycles are able to identify <laughs> when there's when Bitcoin index moving up or moving down. Uh, and the price of gold, uh, the GC uh, futures is up $10.30, and the MES is up uh, $3 to $33.94, uh, and the YM which is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, futures is down uh, 38 uh, points. So the last one we're going to cover for the uh, uh, low price stock January effect, New York Stock Exchange, is symbol GGB, George George Boy. And it's, uh, it's a foreign stock, but it's basic material sector. And it's at $4.44, uh, down a penny. And it also looks good on our uh, AI and algorithmic trading. And looking at the Bruno oscillator on the other screen, uh, we see that it's also at support. And look how well that, that reached the uh, resistance level uh, here at um, uh, well, $6 a share and came all the way down, didn't hold the $5. Try to move back up to resistance at 533, and then just fell apart to where it is now at 442. Again, don't know anything about the fundamentals of these of these companies, but I want to show you something else, which is the uh, we talked about hedging portfolios uh, by buying an inverse exchange traded fund. Uh, if you're happy with the portfolio profits that you have within your portfolio. So the suggestion is to uh, make money with the long portfolio and hedge it in the event the market moves down or surprises you, you can make money on the inverse, uh, whereas uh, lo losing money on your portfolio. So that's what I do, basically using the uh, ES as far as selling against my long portfolio or buying uh, against my short portfolio. Uh, and the hedge, hedges work very well, and uh, you're able to sleep uh, well at night. Okay, what I have up here is the, uh, the inverse ETFs uh, on my screen, and these are uh, uh, positions that uh, uh, go, 
go go up when the market moves down. So let's take a look at that. We have uh, uh, American Century featured dynamics growth, okay, and that stock is uh, should be inverse. Uh, well, that means it's moving up because whatever uh, stocks in their portfolio were moving down. S SRTY, which is the ProShares uh, Ultra Short Russell, uh, you can see that it, it as the market was moving up, it came off its resistance level at 52.55, and now it's headed back towards uh, support. So looking at this chart, it looks like the market will continue up. And as I mentioned, I think we still have another 50 points on the S&P 500. Here's the uh, pro shares uh, short S&P 500, and therefore that's moving down. So you don't want to be short the S&P 500 if, as I mentioned, we may be moving up uh, 50 points. Uh, DLG is the inverse Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, that means the Dow, Dow Jones will be moving up, while the inverse DLG would be moving down. Uh, TZA is the uh, Russell, I believe, the small cap bear. Uh, again, they all look the same. Uh, Nugget is uh, a, a gold stock, a gold ETF. Uh, Nugget is the uh, is for large gold stocks. Uh, whereas uh, uh, dust is the negative uh, for gold stocks. Well, Nugget is moving up as gold was moving up today. Uh, ERY is the energy, and energy is having a hard time whether to stay uh, or go down. Uh, STLW is the short Dow Jones Industrial Average. FAZ is the uh, financials. And financials usually lead the market up or down. The SQQQ, which we mentioned last time, uh, seems to be heading down, and it's almost at resistance. So that means once it reaches, I mean, support. Once it reaches support, then maybe uh, the market is ready to uh, go down, uh, and uh, or, or I'm sorry, go back up. Uh, SPXS is the uh, also the S&P 500. And that's also on its way down. Uh, TES is the small cap. Uh, that's almost reached the uh, support level. Uh, so that that is something that um, uh, if anyone shorted, uh, they made money. Uh, the uh, SH is uh, the, S the short S&P 500. That's still on its way down. Negative. Remember, these are all inverse. Uh, dust, which we spoke about once before, is the... Uh, inverse gold and gold last couple of days were moving up so therefore the inverse gold is is moving down and the uh, the yang is the Chinese uh, China bear and that's uh, moving down and now that's at support which means that uh, uh, China stock should be uh, moving up okay so we covered a few things today uh, based on uh, the Wall Street Money Letter and uh, subscribers to the Wall Street Money Letter get a 30-day uh, money-back guarantee. And so, therefore, uh, based on the Wall Street Money Letter, as we've mentioned, the way it works is if you subscribe to the Wall Street Money Letter, even on the 30-day money-back guarantee uh, trial, uh, we send you an action alert when we have a buy signal on any of these things, that dividend capture, uh, put option buying, uh, low price stocks, or any things that are covered within our Wall Street uh, money letter. And let's get it up, up here. Uh, and that would include uh, stocks under consideration, as well as uh, 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 short-term stock trading, exchange traded funds, index futures trading, low price stocks, uh, overnight 24-hour futures, options trading strategy, and so on. And uh, as we uh, get recommendations on these particular stocks, we would uh, send out an action alert. An action alert is an email that you would get instantly as soon as we buy the stock within our Wall Street Money Letter trading account. And at that point, we have three choices. And I'll tell you the three choices when we come back from the short break.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. We're all positive now on the markets. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up $1.18. A one one point oh two point four three points. The S and P five hundred is up six point seven zero, and the Nasdaq is up fifty six. And the headline was that Fed officials see restrictive policy staying in place until inflation eases, and that was based on an inflation report this morning that the wholesale prices were up uh, five percent. I had mentioned before the break that when you send out an action alert to subscribers of the Wall Street Money Letter, you have three choices. Uh, I could probably ask you the answer. <laughs> I've been I've been saying this uh, all week. Uh, choice number one is you pick up the phone, you call your broker, and you follow us. Uh, choice number two, you ignore it. Say, I already own that stock, uh, or I don't care to own that stock. Or choice number three is that you track it to see how well uh, you would have done if you would have followed our advice. And I can assure you, if you miss one or two winners. Uh, you're going to be with us the next time we send out an action, the next time we send out an action alert. Uh, and that's the way it works. And I don't know if, if, if I like to treat people the way I like to treat people treat me. And I would say that if I made a lot of money by getting a free access to a 30-day free trial, and if I made enough money, uh, why not subscribe to the actual letter to make more money uh, for the rest of the month or the rest of the of the rest of the year. Uh, on the Wall Street Money uh, letter, 
Uh, I showed, I talked about Megan Ramsey. I talked about my daughter, Dr. Ellen uh, uh, Ramsey. Uh, I didn't mention much about my background. And my background is basically was a training director of Low Rosen Company, a firm that uh, most people have never heard of. I think it became Lehman Brothers and Smith Barney uh, after that. But I, I left because I was making more money in my training school at nighttime and over the weekend that they were paying me on salary. And then with that, I started advertising public seminars. And then that developed into a money management investment advisory broker dealer firm. Uh, as Peter Bruno, that's the end of our program. We'll see you same time tomorrow.